Welcome back. General Motors recently announcing its partnership with Controlled Thermal Resources to help control its lithium waste. As 13 on your sides, Vince Ibarra reports tonight the plans are tied directly to the Salton Sea. Vince. This new partnership is not only big news for the electric car industry, but for the Imperial Valley as well. Lithium is what's used to make batteries for electric cars. And last year, California Governor Gavin Newsom gave direct orders that by 2035, all cars sold in California need to produce zero emissions. According to Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia, the Salton Sea is one of the world's largest sources for lithium. Garcia says that the Salton Sea and Imperial Valley could take center stage when it comes to the domestic supply of lithium. Rod Colwell, the chief officer and director of Controlled Thermal Resources, says that this new partnership will create new job opportunities. And our project alone will, will uh, employ, including construction jobs, just under 2,000 jobs fully developed. That's just us. The hope is to recover lithium in a mindful way that won't harm the surrounding areas. And Colwell says communities are Controlled Thermal Resources' first priority. According to General Motors, the project of extracting lithium is expected to start sometime in 2024. This is something Luis Omedo, an executive at Comito Civico, is eager to see happen. Now, the community has to be involved. We can't just let a few people uh, make decisions for this valley because it's not going to turn out the way the community expects. He encourages the residents in the Imperial Valley to get involved. This really could be a, a good opportunity for the Imperial Valley, for the country. We certainly want to be leaders in California when it comes to climate policy. Amado says that he hopes this new project will directly benefit the Imperial Valley with things like resource centers, better schooling, and more. Reporting in the Imperial Valley, I'm Vince Ibarra.